Mike Gross here at rockandguitarlessons.com and youtube.com slash rockandguitarlessons1. That's 6 a.m. with Are You With Me Now? Per request of one of my new subscribers here, the Diamond Twins. Thanks, brother. You said some very kind things. This is for you. I wasted no time getting on this one. In the multitudes of uh, requests I got to get out, man. I, you just subscribed and I wanted to give you something right off the top. So uh, two and a half step down for this, so it's flat. The chords are E minor, C major, G major, C major, E minor, C major, G major, B major. The strum, once you get it over one chord, is the same for every chord. E minor is first finger 2A, middle finger 2D. And he's not hitting all six, he's basically hitting the E, A, D, and the G. So the trickiest one is going to be this, here's why. Go down, up, so we have, let's see. And then down, up, mute. Take your third finger and pinky and just set them softly over the strings and lift up pressure from these two so you can go. It shouldn't sound like this. It's got to be like that, so. And then go down, stroke on the E minor again, so. And then up. Down, up, mute again. I think. on here. Yeah. So then you hit the chord again and then down up mute again. Take that basic concept. With strumming it's kind of a trip because uh, you, I'm going to give you the set strum but every guitar player does this. They'll, they may alter it by doing an extra down stroke in something or extra up or maybe not mute the second time around as much. This is the basic format for it. Okay. So uh but everything's right with it. Okay, then we're gonna move to C major. Um, go first finger, 3A, and then fifth fret on the D and fifth fret on the G. And I bar, I'm barring that. And then do the same strum. Take your first finger, tuck it underneath the low E to mute that out a little bit, and do the same beat. So I'm not gonna explain it. Once you got the strum for the E minor, apply it to this. Then move up. Um, everything one string higher. 3E, 5A, 5D. Same strum. And then right back to the one you were just at. 3A, 5D, 5G. And then start it over. Don't play the last chord. Instead, we're going to substitute that with a B, a B major. So the first finger 2A, and then we need 4D, 4G. Instead of going, we're going to go to that. See what I mean? E minor C, G, C. E minor C, G, B. Okay? And that's a pretty good little chunk of that one for you. Um, anyone else that, that's uh, on this lesson, outside of, uh, I forgot your name, dude. It was a pretty... Cool name. The Diamond Twins. Anyone else that's on this lesson, I'll, as, as well as you, if you have questions on anything, let me know. The, the fret hand muting can be tricky. It's something you really got to practice a lot to get used to. So, my name is Mike Gross. RockingGuitarsons.com is my website. Hopefully, you'll become a premium member there. It's $20 a month, and that will be launched sometime in 2012. And it'll just, it's more of a detailed, make sure you got every little piece down that you need to, chord scales, strumming, picking, and it, to the point of how to hold a guitar, all that stuff. So, And then youtube.com slash rockandguitarlessons1 is my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you haven't. Comments, likes, request your favorite song riffs, have it done accurately, that's the key. And that's what I'm all about here. Check out our vocal lessons uh, for my wife, Jolene Gross, and uh, make sure to, to give her some comments and appreciation, and you guys are awesome. My subscribers are the best. Um, I'm loving doing this. And it's taken off and it's taken off fast. And it's because of you guys. Thanks, man. Spread the word about Mike Gross, Jolene Gross, my website that's coming, and this channel. And until next time, see you later.